So in this lecture, we'll discuss logic behind synthetic division. Now for that, I'll take up an example, which is I need to divide 3x to the power 4 minus 12x plus 5 with x plus 1. And if I use long division, then I'll get the quotient as 3x cubed minus 3x square plus 3x minus 15. And I'll get the remainder as plus 20. Now we'll use synthetic division. So I'll draw the lines. Now the first question that comes to the head is for this x plus 1 why we actually take minus 1 and not plus 1. If we go back to our long division I can see that every time when I'm multiplying the factors I'm changing the sign. So that is the reason I need to change the sign of this term. So for plus 1 I'll take minus 1. Now I'll write coefficient of the polynomial which is 3 0 0 minus 12 and 5. Now these coefficients they correspond to coefficient of x to the power 4, x cube, x square, x and then constant term. Now the leading coefficient in the polynomial is 3 which is 3x to the power 4 and I need to eliminate this 3x to the power 4. Now in order to eliminate this 3x to the power 4 I need to multiply this x with 3x cube. So the first coefficient of quotient is determined by leading coefficient of this polynomial. So that is the reason we always put 0 there and then 0 plus 3 is 3. Now we will multiply this minus 1 with 3 and we will put the result there. So which is minus 3 and then 0 plus minus 3 is minus 3. Now why do we do that? What actually has happened is when we have multiplied this 3x cube with x, we have got another term and that was 3x cube and after changing the sign we get minus 3x cube. So previously coefficient of x cube was 0. Now we have another term that contains x cube and whose coefficient is minus 3. So now we have two terms having x cube and their coefficients are 0 and minus 3. So 0 plus minus 3 is minus 3. So now minus 3 is my leading coefficient and that is the reason I will multiply it with minus 3x square. So that is why I will choose minus 3 as the next coefficient in quotient. Now again, I will multiply this minus 1 with minus 3. I will put the result there. So I will get this as plus 3. And then 0 plus 3 is 3. So again, when we have multiplied this minus 3x square with x, we have got another term and that was minus 3x square. And after changing sign, it has become plus 3x square. So now again, we have two terms containing x square and their coefficients are 0 and 3. So their coefficients are 0 and 3. Now if I will add them up, I will get this value as 3 and that is my leading coefficient now which I need to eliminate. So that is my another coefficient in quotient. Now again I will multiply this 3 with minus 1. I will get this as minus 3. And so again I will add them up. I will get this as minus 15. Same logic and then finally I will multiply this minus 1 with 15. I will get this as 15. So which is 20. So that is your remainder and 3x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 15 is your quotient. So every time we are eliminating a term with leading coefficient and when we are doing that another term whose degree is just one less than the leading term is getting affected and that's the reason we follow these steps.